Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the best free Unity assets for June, July 2023, where I feature some of the best creations, models, editor extensions, and everything to make your game's development life so much easier. I'll feature a selection today and I'll put all the links in the description for all the rest of the over 90 free assets that you can get for this month. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything you can find in game dev. Be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 95 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So number one, we've got Layer AI, which can help you level up your game art and by creating pixel perfect game assets in a matter of seconds. So you can install this directly in Unity and be able to choose, create specific style pixel art, be able to remove the backgrounds and do lots of different functionality, which can let you place this in your scene with all the features that you've come to love. The next two are from the same developer and they're called the Defense Line. And there's a set of explosive essentials and grenade breakers, which are super high quality 3D assets with sandbags, concrete blocks, anti-tank weapons, grenades, and loads of stuff. And this developer has some super high quality assets. The next one is something called the Advanced Editor Tools, and this is to help you with custom editors so you can easily create foldouts and columns with some simple attributes that can use directly into Unity. The next one is something called Flex Along 3D Grid Layout, and this is if you spend a lot of time actually level designing, using animators, and lots of things like that when you want to arrange things in a particular style. So this actually allows you to do 3D objects in any grid layout, whether you want cells that drop down, whether you want a cube-like layout, and so many things for sizing, filling, and across different styles. The next one is, I know this is quite popular, it's the backrooms like asset pack, and it's that style that's quite synonymous with the modular layout with generic props, chairs, lights, padlocks, switches, and loads of things in there. And the next one is the hierarchy sorting tool, and this is meant to simplify organization of game objects in scenes, so you can grab a selection of game objects and filter those by A to Z, reverse the order, filter by name, and you can even filter groups and then be able to control them that way. And I think it's a really useful asset. The next one is the jewel pack, which comes with 18 3D gems with bonus textures, environmental maps, and really nice to whack into your scene. The next one is the weight easy coroutines. So this is a way to declare coroutines without having to use a enumerator or the yield syntax. It has some really nicely shorthanded variations to be able to use weights, to be able to chain them, to be able to group them, stop them, resume them, and be able to do really easy methods and functions just with a few words. The next one is the flat colorizer. If you have assets that use several materials for just base colors, you can have one material that has multiple colors on it, which you can control for an asset. So you can experiment and really optimize your scenes. The next one is the dialogue system with script. And this is a really simple implementation and a fast implementation of a dialogue system. It's useful for building placeholders and demos and it has simple functionality for the text, the boundaries, the content that you use. The next one is the low poly food light. And this is from a great developer who's got loads of packs on the store and it's a free pack of 28 low poly models created with just one texture, suitable for all pipelines. The next one is something called scene streamer. And this is an asset which allows for simple yet a free system to be able to create large environments and load those at runtime, completely written in C sharp and has compatibility with lots of the popular assets in Unity. The next one is Dream Tech Splines, and this is an all-in-one solution for splines. It has a lot of versatility, high performance, and you can actually edit and create at runtime. You can use different spline types. You can use mesh generation, junctions. You can use objects and particle systems. You can use projection. It's suitable for mobile. You can import and export use lots of different things in there, whether you need something to follow them, whether you need something for a texture, and it's got so much support out of the box. The next one is the 2D Skeleton Isometric Pixel Art Character, and this comes with eight different animations, comes with an animation controller, 
and it comes in two parts with 64 by 64 sprite sheets all the way going up to a slightly higher resolution and last but not least this is still a helpful one if you want to import unity packages into your scene sometimes it comes with its own folder and it'll put it somewhere where you don't want so this asset allows you to take any of the unity packages and put that directly in the folder that you want as soon as you import so i hope you like checking out all these assets and do be sure to check out over 90 free ones that, and i've got all the links down in the description for those so be sure to check out all the links as well in the description for the best sales savings and everything you can find in unity be sure to check out my patreon to get access to over 195 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else check out all my assets on the unity asset store and on my website big thank you to all my patrons but a big thanks to peter steiner and christian van Ziel for their amazing support and thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers